what's going on y'all it's jay small reviews here back at it again with another video bring you guys the second half of this recap weekend we had trenches on saturday and then sunday the big dog goes down chrome 23 miami nights um and obviously here to recap the battles on the card first thing i have to talk about though is a huge thing that really is a deterrent for the event the energy that was in that building the energy even watching the battles this event had a five and a half hour delay now it's battle rap month hour delay even a two hour delay we should not be okay with it but for us that that love this sport we rock with it even when we shouldn't we have a lot of events that end up going down later than the given time but five and a half hours it, it's a it's an unrealistic type of amount of time to wait imagine having a watch party and trying to convince people to wait for the event under that situation there's a million different reasons why you can't i shouldn't even have to explain it. i should just say it i think everybody understands so definitely affected the event in a few different ways which will which in my opinion which we'll talk about going forward here um and i would say classic chrome pattern here where i feel like the undercard lackluster some things that don't live up um but the main event lopsided or not always seems to be super impactful which is something that chrome has been doing really since they showed up but without further ado we can start with the first battle on the card so starting out with zan uh, versus Chirac. i'm gonna be honest with you this is a battle that i literally cannot judge why is that because there's a whole round I just did not get to watch. The stream goes out for Zan second in this battle. And I have not found a way to get the VOD, you know, working um, or be able to rewatch it. So until I'm able to do that, I feel like it would be a disservice to judge these ladies off that. But I will say a couple of things about this battle. One, it showed very early. The crowd was pretty dead for their first. I was able to watch both their first. I edged it to Chirac if that's worth anything. But I thought it was close, not crazy. But if the opening battle has no real energy behind it, that just, that's a problem. Because time is only going to move forward, and people are only going to get more tired during the event, which just started five and a half hours late. Um, so that that's that. I missed Zan's second stream went down for it. Chirac's second was pretty good. I thought it was better than her first. And then I had Zan winning the third round with her best round of the battle. So probably will come down in the second. I saw some people in the building kind of just tweeting, giving it, uh, giving the battle both ways. So we'll just, I'm just gonna have to wait and see on that one. Then from there, you have Coffee Brown versus Jade, and I predicted in this one going in, this was a mismatch. Um, shout out to Jade. I feel like she's done the work to build her profile up, has battled some bigger names, has had some good performances here and there, but not always the most clean. And Coffee is is in her some of her prime form. Um, and she showed that in this battle. Coffee Brown was one of the best performers on the card. There's two performers that really did great on this card, and Coffee Brown is absolutely one of them. Um, first round, not just the fact that she's barring her up, great Jade flips, uh, great flips kind of playing to the Miami crowd at that, but her rapping ability, like actually the way that she delivers and raps, just has come such a long way. There was some flow switches in this battle, um... There was some much more performative, which was expected, but it just wasn't just Coffee writing better material and, and being better in that aspect. It was all around. It just looked like a top-tier battle rapper versus a non-top-tier battle rapper. And Jade was cleaner in this battle than she's really been um, in battles in the past. I actually thought, even though her third, she starts to slip up a little bit more, the stumbles are getting to her. For the most part, she had a clean performance, and her second was a step up from her first. Gotta give her that. Had some cool lines in the third. But overall, it was just a different level of fire power a coffee 3-0 victory very very clear and, and like i said one of the absolute best performers of the night so that leaves you with the last three battles on the card and these are the ticket sellers the top tier versus top tier action and next one was shuni versus e heart and i gotta preface this battle with a few things out of all these battles not only do i have to rewatch re shyrak and zan because of the stream going out but this one in particular i need to rewatch one because it was super close i think every round of this battle is considered debatable for what i'm seeing i personally called one round clear which we'll talk about in a second but it is that close where i, I needed to rewatch anyways plus with all the the rap beef going down you know what i'm saying on a mainstream level the next chapter of the beef uh was entered with the heart part six from drake while this was going down i had already waited six hours for this event the crowd which were mentioned in the beginning the crowd was going to be a problem it was a problem through the whole night really was not a good battle rap crowd if i got to be perfectly honest with you and it hindered this battle might be a reason it hindered this battle a little bit but with all those things added my attention was in a few different places at once i just know that i deserve this battle deserves another rewatch before i give a final verdict full confident winner but i watched the shit you came here for a recap so i will give you my initial watch opinion and like i said super duper debatable first round i think could go either way I preferred Heart 
having a bit of a wittier line approach and just landing with a little more efficiency and consistency, especially when you're a puncher like Shuni, I feel like haymakers are really in general, you want to have peaks to your round, which neither of them really reach. I didn't think those was the craziest performance from either. Um, but in that first round, especially, I thought Hart was just doing a little bit more with the pen that earns you those points. So I edged her the first. The second was a step up for both. Um, and I actually edged Shuni the second round of this battle. Once again, I think you could, it could definitely go either way, but I thought Shuni was starting to hit those peaks and also was clean in this battle. I'd say at times it almost looked like she was remembering her rhymes as she went, but it never really hindered her pace that much. Maybe a stumble or two in the third, but definitely no chokes or anything where she was like losing herself to battle. And I edged her the second and the third. See people calling this debatable, but for me, I thought Shuni clearly won the third. It was Hart's lightest round. Really took it easy on her while I felt like Shuni just kept her foot on the gas, kept going at her, punching at her, even angling a little bit. Um, not even a little bit, a lot of bit. So I had Shuni taking the battle 2 1, went in uh, picking E Heart, and the stage was even smaller than I expected. This was like pit style, and I thought Shuni just handled business. But I think there's a debate for Heart in the first and second, and, and it might be a debate to be made if I rewatch it and feel differently. But first watch, I did have Shuni winning the battle, and then you have your co main event, a battle I was very excited for with Shayna Ashley versus Prestavia. I was excited. We were excited. Power punching. Prestavia, what they could do performance-wise. They both rap amazing. Haymaker capability. And I gotta say, this was a lackluster battle. It wasn't a completely bad battle, but I expected more from both in a few different aspects. Uh, Shayna went in the first, and Shayna had a bit of a prolonged water break in this first round at one point, which later we're going to see what that kind of turned into, but thought it could maybe be considered a choke. I mean, it was very awkward, but overall content-wise, even though it's always wrapped great, what they're rapping about and the way it's actually being wrapped, I'm going to always refer to like as two separate things because it really is. Execution, Shane is one of one with her flow, um, but I thought content-wise really weak. I thought it was one of her weaker rounds she gave since her return, which I think she's been damn near perfect since she's returned. And then Prestavia went in the first. I thought the door was open for her to clearly win this first dominant fashion, kind of pick up where she was in her official battle. I'm going to be real. I edged Prestavia the first round of this battle. I thought she started very good, but it wasn't landing crazy either. Like, it, the door was really open to debate the first round. I'm not mad at someone that has Shayna 1-0. Um, I didn't think it was the best for me either. And while I, I preferred, thought she got a couple more punches off, um, landed with a little bit more, like, tailoredness and effectiveness, I didn't think it was that crazy. And then the second round of this battle, Shayna's actually really good in the second round, but she has a moment where she ends up throwing up. She has another prolonged water break. I thought she was passing out at first, a little bit worried. that The camera's not on her. You can't really see on stream, but then... The DJ, that wow motherfucker he is, uh, says, well, that's different, and it starts playing music while she's throwing up, which is crazy. I don't know if that clip will be lost in history, but that shit was out of pocket. Shane actually comes back, finishes her second. Momentum's obviously crazy by then. You just throwing up. We have the big pause, and is waiting for you to rap again. I'm going to be real. Persavia's second. Not that good. I mean, like it's solid, but once again, she's not bombing like people might be expecting her to be. Um... It's just not all that. So she kind of wins by default in the second either way. Whether you count choke, uh, throwing up as choking, whatever. I mean, the big ass pause in the battle, you just can't have that. It is what it is. We kill chess for it all the time. I, I definitely don't think it's any type of like thing you're going to see often with Shayna, but it occurred. So it was for me to Oprah Stavia going into the third round of the battle. And then the third round of the battle, Shayna's third is actually really good. She ends on her best round as good as her second, if not better, and then completely clean with it too. And then Prestavia goes, she choked like two bars into her, her third. She got it back. She ended up having like a cool third round, but it's it's just, you see me chokes, throwing up, not the best versions. You're hearing not very good description of this battle because it's really not that good of a battle. Disappointing to see it go this way because I think the battle had so much potential on paper. Sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. I had Prestavia 2-1 in the first and second with the first being that 50-50 swing round. I'm not mad at any of you guys that have Shayna 2-1, and it probably would have just won the battle clear if she didn't throw up in the second, but that is what occurred. So, you know, tough it went that way, but debatable result. And that leaves you with the main event battle. Uh, similar to Trenches Man, whether it's lopsided or not, I feel like Chrome always puts on, like, impactful main event battles, right? Like, the result feels like there was some impact to it. Um, and that is Swamp versus Averb here. And don't worry, because I am going to do this first impression here, my recap, but I'm already seeing people talk about on cam and this and that. 
I am an on-cam type of guy where I will go back. I'm going to be writing down all the bars and giving this its own bar-for-bar bar detailed review. Give it a second and third watch. So expect that a little bit later in the week. But like I said, still giving my first impression. And the big takeaway for me is one, Swamp, in the biggest battle of his career, had maybe the best performance of his career. And I feel like those are... When I say things like that, when all the pressure is on someone, this is their moment, and they fully snatch it. We're talking about him being clean all three rounds, no stumbles, no chokes, high-level material. I think his first in comparison to his other rounds is his weakest round, and that's still a very good round at that. Different approaches and angles, some bars that kind of approaches you, I wouldn't expect him to take against Verb, that were creative, and just bombing. Performance-wise, did great. Rapping ability-wise, jumped in a few different pockets. Just could not be more impressed with him. And I think Verb even was pretty good in this battle, particularly the first two rounds. His third round, um, he had the KCJ and Beasley angle type of going at Swamp. Um, I did not like it. I thought it was a bit of a misfire. And then pitted against Swamp's best round at that. Maybe the best round Swamp's ever wrapped, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it just, it looked, it kind of got killed in that comparison. But I thought his first two rounds were good. You could debate if the first or the second was better. Um, rap to perfection. But for me, the difference in this battle is content. And that's the difference across all three rounds. Verb has a elite, all-time elite, just rapping ability, just in terms of how he raps his words, the flows, uh, structurally, in terms of syllables, how he's able to put it together. It's incredible rhyme schemes that he can pull off, and he's one of the few that can pull it off at the level he does. Um, but in this battle, he lacked energy. He does not have the energy like the, of the grudges versus A-Ward, Shug, even Ill Will, other matches he was able to build up because he is incredible at promo and he builds these up to be important all of these seem like important battles but the energy was not there the same way and while he's rapping great even compared to his war battle that forward content that's really gonna bomb on swamp a little bit of some career talk in the second round i thought that was more of what i was looking for but it's just not as tailored as it has to be considering the matchup it is and especially when swamps across from you not just matching you in the real talk bag always had a great trap talk bag uh you know real life applicable bars i feel like that's where swamps at his best but then he's beating you in the punches category in the wordplay. And even when you go and look, I had the first is the closest round of the battle. I had Swamp still clearly winning the first. Just thought for those reasons, more tailored, landing with more bombs. Um, and then I thought the second, still a good round from Verb, but Swamp only wrote uphill more. I see people complaining about gas. Can't wait to do the, to do this review. You'll bar for bar because you people are out of your mind. I mean, this is really great content for two rounds. Punch heavy, angle heavy, getting at him here, not working. People worried he'd work the whole verbs feminine, verbs gay angle too much. Obviously, it references to it, but not by any means. I mean, really rapping with the guy, punching with them, some of his best pen work. And then the third round, that milestones bar. How long, uh, how long the fiends walk to get the work? That was my milestones. That's an all-time quotable. It's funny because I think a big question they gave Swamp going in is when they were slandering him, you know, the whole promo, what quotables, what all-time bars does he have? Milestone bar was out of here. You and uh, Hitman always walking around with fake teeth. Well, we got real choppers. I'm got <laughs> Bomb amazing third round exactly what you're supposed to bring for a battle this magnitude and i feel like it i'm i'm not gonna go to call it a straight just like body bag crazy I mean, we're not talking shine verb here by any means verb was had a respectable performance in this battle and i just feel like swamp it, it had, the moment was more serious for him and he just went to a level effort wise and and just putting his all into the battle and that's the result that he got so i had swamp clearly winning all three rounds of this battle i do believe that this is a 30 versus a pretty good verb but not good enough considering these circumstances here and a career showing for a guy that if there was any doubt going into this one that there has to be if you didn't already have that top tier label level of respect on swamp's name i don't understand how you couldn't after this unless it's just an agenda that that you want to continue on you don't like swamp but that is my full recap here for chrome 23 miami Knights. just to run through the results again cannot judge zan versus shyrak because i missed the second but i had it 1-1 with the other rounds coffee wins 3-0 kind of body bag fashion over jay to be perfectly honest um e heart versus shuni the one battle Besides the one that I missed the second in, for sure need a read watch. Super duper duper debatable. I had Shuni second and third. Comes down to that second for me. Um, same with Prestavia and Shayna in terms of debatableness. Comes down to the first. I had Prestavia 2 1. You heard my explanation. But if you you have some you have Shayna one and three, or you had talking to someone that does, very, very logical. I think it's a 50 lackluster battle, but I think it's 50-50. No clear winner. And then obviously Swamp and Verb. I had Swamp. I had Coffee as the second best performer of the night. Swamp as the clear performer of the night. 
Uh, real legacy moment for him over Averb 3-0. And obviously, next video I'll have out is probably going to be a bar for bar for that. Um, when I'm able to get my hands on somewhere to rewatch it. So that's what you should expect next from me. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. What are your takeaways from Trenches and Chrome as a whole weekend? But particularly with this battle, how'd you call Swamp and Verb? Do you feel like anyone else's stock super rose or, or, or super went down from any other battles in the card? You know, please let me know. I'm always open for discussion. But it's been Jay Small Reviews again, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.